We got something interesting. Let's take a look at what it is. Let's go ahead and open the box and get our first look at the new L-Series LED devices. This right here is the newest line of LED notification appliances from System Sensor. Of course, it is an L-Series device. For those who don't know, the L-Series is a series of notification appliances that was released in 2017 to replace the older Advanced Series, which is this one right here. This was released in 2007. It featured a really nice mounting style because it had this bracket that you would just wire up and then plug the device into. Selectable output, just a really versatile device, became really popular. System Sensor replaced that with a very similar device. Again, this one had a Xenon strobe bit of a redesign of the housing but same bracket uh, same noise and also slightly lower current draw but a couple years ago there was a rapid industry shift from xenon devices to leds because when you have a system and you have a lot of devices on that system when you have led devices that use a lot less power you can have less power supplies and a higher gauge of wire which ultimately saves costs let's take a closer look at this device so you can see it has a lot of parallels to the original l series here the same fire lettering on the side, same housing shape, pretty much the same horn and strobe locations. The interesting thing about this device is that it's actually omnidirectional when it comes to the strobe. So you can get a closer look at the lens here. It is the same from all sides. So technically this unit is rated for ceiling mount installation. It does say so in the manual. The old L series devices right here, this was not rated for ceiling installation because there's this roof over the strobe. So you don't get output on all sides. The older advanced series was actually also rated for ceiling installation, but it's nice that they brought that back. So if you take a look at it, you can see we have our candela slider down there. Same screw location for fastening to the mounting bracket. If you look at the back side, you can see we have our selections for audio, and then we also have our candela selections. Now there's no longer that physical slider. There's just one of these dials that you turn. The mounting bracket is still the same. So this is backwards compatible. You can install a new L-series LED on a old Xenon devices bracket, which makes things nice and convenient. The horn grill has changed a little bit, as you can see. It has a slightly weirder shaped grill as opposed to the older L-series. Something you might not have noticed on this device is that there's actually holes on it. So you can see at the top, there's holes. There's two that are marked positive and negative, and the other set is not used. These are actually test ports. So basically a technician can come through with a multimeter and probe this device right there without taking it off the wall. That's actually really nice because in a lot of cases, when a technician is troubleshooting a system, they have to test the uh, continuity or whatever, or the output at each device. And traditionally you would have to take the device off the wall. But the fact that there's a test port here uh, makes it so that the technician can just stick their probes in here and then check it without having to take each device off the wall. So that's convenient. So you can see for the audio select, the settings have pretty much remained the same. Uh, but something interesting about the Candela is now there's an FCP or fire alarm control panel setting. So that's kind of similar to the simplex addressable units. This is a completely unrelated product. This is a addressable proprietary simplex truller ES device. And you can see that on the candela selection there's a space for facp which that means that the fire alarm control panel will dictate how bright this strobe flashes and that setting won't be at the device now i haven't seen that actually in use yet i don't think it's a feature that's been released but i'm sure that at some point on the higher end systems that'll be an option but it looks like that's something interesting for now i think i'd probably want to set it at just a normal candela setting but yeah now the question is do i like this device when these devices were announced and people started seeing them for the first time, the fire alarm enthusiasts kind of went crazy. Everyone was hating on this device saying, that's the ugliest thing I've ever seen. It's designed terribly. The strobe looks dreadful, blah, blah, blah. It's just bad, this and that. And my response to that is, it's the same thing as the original L series. I mean, obviously the strobe is different because it's an LED strobe. If anything, it looks slightly better because it's smaller, but it's the same device. It's not like they made it completely different. You still get the exact same shape of it. The horn is in the same place. If I zoom out of the frame, I've just gone ahead and set these over here and I'm gonna walk back. And now once I zoom out, they look pretty much the same to any other person who's not a fire alarm. I mean, do you think anyone's really going to notice? Oh my goodness, that fire alarm right there. The strobe on it is one centimeter smaller. The design is 
0.1 degrees different from the other one. That is so ugly. Get that out of my building now. No one actually cares. I mean, when, you, when it comes to fire alarm devices, they look almost identical. I'm guaranteeing almost that if you showed these two to a random person and then had them remember which one was which, they probably couldn't do it. I mean, look at this thing. In nearly every single way, they're almost identical. There's just some very slight differences that pretty much no one's going to care about. So my answer is yes, I do like them. I think they look pretty good. There's nothing necessarily ugly about them. And that kind of brings me to my point, and that is people just hate all the new devices. Every time anything new comes out, people will just call it ugly for a year and then forget about it. When this thing came out, the Wheelock Exceder, people said that is the ugliest looking thing ever. It just looks terrible. It's too round, blah, blah, blah. And then now it looks fine. When the Advance came out, people said the same thing. That is the ugliest looking thing I've ever seen. Blah, 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 blah. When the True Alert series came out, people said that's ugly, blah, blah, blah. When the LED version of the True Alerts came out, people said those are horrific looking. When the ceiling mount True Alerts came out, people were like, oh, th those are terrible, blah, 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 blah. When the LED Edwards devices came out, people said those are the most atrocious things I've ever seen. But all of these devices do their job. I don't think there's anything inherently ugly about any of them. They do what they're supposed to. They look like fire alarms. If a normal person you see walking on the street saw this on a wall, are they going to care? No. When it comes down to fire alarm devices and whether or not I like them, the, the answer really comes down to one question, and that is, does it do its job? And if the answer is yes, then I like it. I think people frequently forget that the point of fire alarm devices is to save lives in an emergency. The point of fire alarms is not to be fun to collect. People often say things like, oh, that device is so ugly, I really hate it. And that's fine. The device is not designed to appeal to you as a collector. It's supposed to be easy to install, it's supposed to be user-friendly, and it's supposed to save lives and make noises when there's a fire. That's all it's supposed to do. I've heard people say things like, oh, old 80s devices are so much better. I'd rather have this in my building and blah, 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 blah. That just does not make any sense. Like, are you hearing yourself? This thing right here, it's cool in my collection. Don't get me wrong. This is one of my favorite devices. But is it reliable? Is it going to work in every single case? Is it ADA compliant? Does it do its job better than any of the devices you see here? In every single one of those questions, the answer is no. This device here was manufactured at a time when safety was at a different standard. Nowadays, any of these devices I would trust more than that. So I've gone ahead and put this unit on my SK4 demo system. You can see that's what it looks like when it's installed. Um, it does look pretty good. I really don't get the hate for it. I think it actually looks pretty good and a lot better than some other devices. It does look pretty much the same as the L series, like I said, but let's go ahead and activate the system. So. Like I said, pretty much the same performance as the L-Series. You can see the strobe does flash just like a normal Xenon strobe would. Of course, it is silent. I mean, it does make a little bit of noise, but it's nowhere near as loud as the clicking you'd get on a Xenon device. Um, you can see it is on audible silence right now. Strobe does look pretty nice. It does show up as a lot more blue on camera, but there it is. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it up with a L-series Xenon device, and we're going to watch them synchronize. So now we have both L-series units on the wall, as you can see, so let's go ahead and set off the system. My guess is that this unit's going to start up first, because this unit has quite the delay between when it receives power and when it starts sounding, but push and pull down. Yep, there it goes. And now the second one has started. synchronize obviously it would not make very much sense for them to design a device that did not have the same sync protocol i've also heard some allegations that the led l series does not work on filtered dc systems which that just does not make any sense because honeywell literally makes several filtered dc panels currently so it would not make any sense for a system sensor to manufacture a device that did not work on their own systems um i mean other than that there's not too much to say you can see that it does flash um it is nice to see LED devices finally flash at a normal rate because the original LED devices kind of just flashed on and off, but this is definitely a genuine strobe and it does the job. 
So thank you for watching this video. You can really see how similar they are. They are basically the same device. I don't see too much of a difference other than the fact one is LED and newer technology. But yeah, thank you for watching this video. Please do like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Farewell. Something I didn't mention is that they no longer give you a paper instruction manual. You have to scan this QR code, kind of like those restaurants that make you scan it for the menu, but that's probably fine because most people aren't reading it anyways.